Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of the Bionicle Inspiration series, a series where I cover the community's building techniques and mocks to give you some ideas, help you move out of a mocking block or an artist block, or just get you inspired for something you're currently building or planning on building. Today we're going to do this episode a little different, because it's the 10th episode, which is, I guess, an anniversary or something, you know. It's a landmark, I guess. I don't know. But essentially, uh, today we're going to be covering nice part uses, or NPU as it is sometimes known as. Um, essentially, what that means is someone has used a piece in a very creative way, which the part was maybe not necessarily intended for, uh, and it looks really, really cool. So, today, because the nature of showcasing NPUs to me is a little bit sort of quicker. Uh, I'm going to showcase six mocks, as I'm sure you can already see. Uh, so it'll probably be about the same length of episode, but instead I intend to go a bit faster per mock. So you will see six instead of three, uh, but uh, you will still get the same length of episode and same amount of content, essentially. So without further ado, let us begin. The first mock we have today is Ke'erok Iron Hand by... Now, apparently this is pronounced George... But I like to say DJ OK Son. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I understand. I see what I did there, and it's funny. Um, so, something I like about this is one, it looks really cool. Two, he is essentially the king of NPUs. Uh, let's just show a couple of his other mocks here. There's a lot of really cool piece usages with almost everything he builds. Uh, but I decided to pick my favorite one, which is this. I love what he's done with this piece here, he's turned it into a beard for this mock, and when I first saw this, it took me a bit to actually discover what the piece was, uh, because it looks so perfect to be a beard, uh, and the way he shaped it around the system face and the really cool helmet looks awesome, and then combine that with the axe, what a cool mock. So good job, uh, DJ OK Sun, as I like to call you. The next mock we have today is Origin by Shadow Gear 6335, um, something really really cool here is the foot design. Uh, it's another great part use. Uh, Shadow Gear has used the speed or pieces, these guys, uh, specifically this piece, um, to create a really sick foot design. Uh, and in my opinion, it's a relatively useless part. Um, not many people use it. Uh, I never really thought of any usages for it. Um, but it flows so well with the rest of this mock uh, and is a very clever part use. So go Shadow Gear. Great work. The next mock we have today is Kuras Crab by Dylan Meaves. Um, a lot of cool part usages here. Uh, one, he's combined the Liwa mask with the uh, Hero Factory shell of the same color uh, to create what's a really cool and effective little sort of crab pincer and looks awesome. Uh, and then also you've got the, uh, I have no idea what you'd call that piece, but this guy. Uh, he's used that there for the little foot of the crab, uh, which gets the job done and looks great. Um, so there's a lot of really cool usages of Hero Factory here. Plus it's a really quick and simple build, like, wouldn't have taken long to have made this. Uh, which as I've said in future episodes, always good to build sort of smaller mocks, because then if you're constantly complaining that you don't have the time, why build something big, just build something small and cute and get an awesome Rahi out of it. So, yeah, go Dylan. The next mock we have today is The Lady by Disty. Um, this is a relatively famous mock. I've seen it around a lot, uh, and it's fairly old. Uh, Flickr said that this photo was taken on September 30th, 2008. So quite an old mock, uh, but it still holds up today in terms of being, well, a lot of really cool part usages on it. For example, one, the dress there is actually made out of a series of tire pieces that have been turned inside out and then put on the mock, uh, which is a genius part use and looks very effective. Uh, you've also got the tube up there, used as a sort of necklace thing, uh, genius. Uh, and then using a Nuva head, sorry, a Nuva shoulder for a head, in yellow there, is awesome. Uh, and then you've got two different masks there for hair, uh, and then hair, uh, masks again for the shoulders. So this mock is almost entirely awesome part usages, uh, and creates for a very realistic looking mock, uh, which is phenomenal. So great work, Disty. The next mock we have today is by Patrick Biggs, uh, and is simply called Elephant, uh, because it is an elephant. Something I really like about this is he's used one of the old Borok Krata holders there for the mouth, which is also posable, which is so cool. Um, it's funny how old that piece is, and yet I very rarely see people use it, uh, and here it's been used so very well. Uh, but probably an even cooler part use would be the uh, 
sort of, I don't know, I guess they're Mystica shields um, there for the ears. The piece almost looks perfect uh, as an elephant ear, uh, especially when you sort of turn it upside down like that. So awesome, awesome part use by Patrick Biggs there. The final marker for today is by Mike Neves, not actually related to Dylan, uh, but one of the best builders in the internet, in my opinion. So here he has made a mock called Bionicle Birdish Creation. So apparently Dylan, uh, two months before Bionicle G2 was announced, was sent new Bionicle pieces by the Lego company uh, so that they could just sort of play with the pieces and give them their opinion. Uh, which, screw you, Dylan. I hate you. I'm very jealous. Uh, not Dylan, sorry, Mike. Uh, but yeah, um, very jealous of that, but really awesome result. So essentially what he said he did is he literally just used the pieces he was given and played with them in sort of unconventional ways just to sort of test out the versatility of the parts and all that, which is awesome. And, and look at the awesome results he's got. He's used the sort of stud shooters as eyes. He's used the, uh, Pahatu weapon pieces as a mouth. Uh, and then he's got the wings and then the eye pieces as claws. Genius. Uh, some amazing part usages on here. Uh, and a really cool lesson, in my opinion, in just playing and testing out stuff. Like, there's no reason you have to have your mock be super serious. Like, I know oh, I always do that. Uh, I'll constantly be building stuff and then kind of pause from it and be like, hey, I can just be playing. I don't have to take this so seriously. Um, and it's cool because Mike has essentially just made art for art's sake uh, and just decided to play with pieces just to see what he can learn, which is so cool. Uh... And something I highly recommend you do, because that, in my opinion, is the best way to find really cool part usages, is just to play with stuff and just shove stuff together until something happens. Uh, and yeah, he's created a really awesome result out of just random pieces, essentially. So awesome, awesome job, Mike. And that about does it for all six mocks uh, in today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I will probably do a few other episodes kind of like this, where we cover a few mocks. Uh, and don't necessarily have one set theme. It's kind of just a, a broad concept. Like, for example, I might just do an episode in the future just on, you know, cool mocks, uh, and I just showcase six mocks and just say, like, hey, this part of the mock's really cool, so I don't have to necessarily fit it into one s uh, specific theme. Uh, I will definitely do it, like, once every ten episodes or something, but I may do more if people like these. Uh, that being said, I'm not going to abandon the old style of, you know, let's focus on arm designs today. Uh, I will still do that, but um, I'm going to introduce a few of these where we cover more mocks, but talk about them a little less and focus on one specific thing. So that about does it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check the description for the links to the mocks that you saw in today's episode and check out the phenomenal builds that they have done that I have not showcased in these episodes. Uh, as well as be sure to check the description for places to contact me if you're interested in submitting some of your own mocks or other people's mocks for the show. I will happily look into that uh, and also feel free to comment or through those other methods of communication let me know if you have any other ideas for future themes uh, for the show let me know and I will definitely do an episode on that uh, and that about does it hope you had a fantastic day hopefully through seeing some of these cool part usages you're inspired to play with your pieces and decide and come up with cool part usages um, and hopefully I've inspired you a little so happy building, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day, guys. See ya.